come off a five game week last mm -hmm. week, then head into one this week again. So it's going to be a busy week for us. Um, you know, a three and two week. We'd love to get to these four and one weeks if we can to make up some ground. But um, I thought the guys did a good job. Their guy, everybody's got a Friday night guy. He came out and threw really well. I thought we could have made some better adjustments throughout the ball game. Um, could have probably cut two runs off the board. Uh, we had a walk and a hit batter that scored. So we could have maybe kept it two to one, which would have been a lot uh, more doable when you're facing a Friday night arm like that. But uh, they got us game one, but I thought the guys did a good job of coming back and in game two um, and getting physical and swinging the bat well. Um, we, we had some guys, uh, we didn't get off to a good start though, but we were able to win kind of in different ways. Um, you get dumped on Friday night, you're able to come back. You start a dozen go past one on Saturday, um, but then you were able to get some guys out of the bullpen uh, to come in and kind of hold the rope a little bit along the way. And then our hitters kind of took over um, and then we were able to uh, finish them on, on, on Saturday, then come back on Sunday and, um, you know, play a close game. Perrin uh, really, really looked good uh, throughout the ball game. And then uh, Jay Schultz came in and closed it out for us. So that's a small ballpark. So anytime you play a close game, it's a, it's a dangerous game. And um, we were fortunate enough to finish them. And win the series. So, so that was you know good to take two out of three on the road. We'd love to have gotten all three of those, or again, you know, had a four and one week instead of a three and two week. But um, considering the way we played on Tuesday, you know, on the UNO game, then the the long game uh, on Wednesday, and the extra innings, then the bus ride out the next morning, really early out to Little Rock. So it was it was a unique week for them, and uh, I thought they did a good job of handling everything that was in front of them. Um, today, you know, we'll, they'll uh, be off today, and then from there, get ready to go after it again. Uh, we got a home game Tuesday, and then one on the road on Wednesday, and then we'll finally get to maybe a practice on Thursday, and then it'll soften up a little bit for us and, and get away from five game weeks for. Then we'll have the southeastern makeup though that'll push us back into a five game week, but. Uh, we are at home this weekend, uh, which will be good. We won't have the travel on Thursday. We did the Little Rock. So, uh, again, overall, I thought we did a good job after getting dumped on Friday and getting two out of three. Now what we've got to do is, is continue, to, continue to plow forward. So I'll open the floor for questions you might have. Yeah, I mean, I think he's got to realize you're not going to play at that level probably every night. You know, he raised the standard pretty high that, that day. But, um, you know, we knew he'd come on sooner or later. Um, that was a good ballpark to come on in. Um, the ball travels there. I thought we were going to score some runs. Disappointed on Friday night. But, you know, everybody's got a Friday night starter. But I felt we'd score runs in there. We've done well on the road. Um, so, yeah, we needed him to get going. And uh, that was a, a big weekend for him, confidence-wise. Nothing. I mean, I, we, you know, we, we, um, we, we, you know, the starter didn't get us off to a good start. Uh, I've been in games like that before where you walk people. Um, so we started walking people and hitting people. But um, the hitters did a good job of picking the pitchers up. Um, we heard him talk in the dugout that, you know, the, the, the previous night they only scored one run. And uh, so they got to swing in the bat in that ballpark. And I, and, I, and I think hitting's contagious like anything. And I think it got contagious and they got going. So uh, what was good is I, I thought they, 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 they fought some, you know, which is what we need. You know, you got to get to a point where – you know, you draw a line in the sand and, 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 you know, hold your ground. And I thought they did a good job of that on Saturday. And then I thought Perrin, you know, Sunday came out and got off to such a good start. Um, he made you feel like you could win a close ball game, which we felt it was going to be close. You know, we always talk about this as coaches. Anytime you score a ton of runs, you know, the next day runs at a premium. So we really needed somebody to get us off to a good start on Sunday. And, uh, and Austin did that and threw really well. Oh, I believe so, yeah. I lived it. I live it. Uh, it's part of my world. So where are you now with the bullpen? Because it seems like sometimes guys go up and they're good and they're bad, and then where, like, if you had 
process, is it, are your decisions made when you roll five, six, seven, eight, nine, or are not really yet? You're still in the mix. Well, we like the way uh, Brandon Young shaping up to be able to potentially, you know, take like a seventh, eighth, and ninth, and not have a. I, I said it, you know, kind of during the season that this team might not have a closer. Um, and and you can't always treat stuff like they do the big leagues because you're not handling big league arms. Um, so I, I think a guy like Brandon Young can possibly do what he did the other night, and then Michael Lamont can do that. In, in, in a game to where Michael could take, you know, six out, six to nine even. So, so and then Jay Schultz, been, he's been so movable. You know, he's, he, he's got a rubber arm. He's a guy that bounces back real quick, you know, and so he's been able to maneuver around a little bit for us too. And then, um, you know, Armstrong came in, did a good job of, of cleaning that inning up. It's just he went back out and walked some people. And then Grant Cox came in and, and pitched the best and kind of, held it right there for us until we could, you know, get it turned back around. So, um, again, and then you still got some some young guys that actually, you know, threw good. Stone stepped up on Wednesday and threw well. Uh, uh, Cook, you know, threw well after the game settled down against UNO. So that that's going to always be a work in progress when you're dealing with freshmen. You know what you're going to get a little bit more with Jay Schultz and uh, what you're going to get with Brandon Lamont because they're just older arms. Well, he's strung along some good innings so far, so I, I think that's that's big for him. Uh, we always try to, you know, to go with the hot hand or the guy that's maybe a little bit more consistent, showing some consistency, and so and he's done that in his last couple of outings. That's a possibility. Yeah. Yep. Well, you know, the, the big thing is, is, uh, you know, you're off to, you know, two and one off the road, which is always good. Uh, we just have to continue to, you know, I think swing the bat and swing it consistently. Um, we've, we've always uh, swung it good on the road. Uh, I think we just have to continue to swing the bat better at home. I think that's been the big thing for us um, is, is that we, we score on the road. We're more physical on the road. And then when we come in our ballpark, we're not as physical. And uh, so I think that's the one thing we've got to continue to do is continue to try to swing the bat consistently at home. Uh, Toro's working his way back uh, with his inflammation. Um, he's finished his, his medication. It ended this weekend. So today he'll swing the bat for the first time you know, off a tee and uh, see how he feels. He's not ready yet to catch or to throw. He is throwing. He's in a throwing protocol right now. Um, but he is getting better. Um, he is feeling better. Um, Danny um, didn't play Sunday uh, with a hurt ankle going into second base. So we will MRI that today or tomorrow. They'll take a look at that uh, and see what's going on there. Um, so that's an, that's an issue. Um, we'll have to see what happens there. Um, Bourgeois is, is going to potentially redshirt uh, and, and, and probably do the surgery. We'll know today. But he definitely has a torn labrum for sure. Us too. We, we kind of like that too. Um, and, and that's kind of how we feel we'd like to move forward with it, uh, depending on what happens with Danny. And um, you'll see us continue to move the catching around so Handy doesn't have to catch two to three nights in a row. Um, so, um, but no, we like, we like the lineup Saturday and Sunday. We'll just have to see what, what's, what's up with Danny's ankle. Uh, not really. I mean, I think, I think every game's, like I said before, um, there's no development and, and everybody is good in baseball. Um, the, the, the baseball in our state is very good. I've always said that, you know, you don't need to go too far to get your rear end, uh, handed to you. You've got to be ready to play every night when you go out and, um, you know, they're well coached. Um, and every team that we play will be, 
will be good, especially when you follow up a Tuesday off a long, long bus ride off of a five-game week the week before. Um, you know, we, we don't charter. They said Major League Baseball. So these are, these are kids. And um, so that's the biggest challenge. You don't get to practice on Mondays because you got to give them a day off. And, you know, I, I, I like to practice before we play. Um, but you don't get to do that on Tuesdays. So Tuesdays are always dangerous. <laughs> well, I, I, I think the, the big thing for us is I think we just need to try to continue to solve just, I think, scored more runs at home. Uh, I think that's the issue, and they, they're catching us at home. Um, in, in, in baseball um, or in any sport, really, it's, a lot of time it's when you catch people. You know, some people you catch them, they're on fire. Some people you catch them, they're struggling. Um, a lot of times it's when you catch people. Um, we just have to, I just think, swing the bat better at home. I think that's the biggest thing for us and, and um, try to get, you know, we, we had consistent starting pitching going and, then, you know, Harton's been removed twice early. So, you know, we, we, we've got we've to fix that. Um, and, and I just think swing the bat better at home. We, we've, we've, we swing it good on the road for some reason. At home we don't swing it as good. So I think that's the biggest the biggest thing for, for, for me is for us to swing the bat better at home. Yeah, I, I think I think we're just trying to be careful with him, um, you know, and not not give him a heavy heavy workload. Um, he's still you know coming off dealing with. Um, a little bit of that inflammation that he had. Um, you know, he's taken his medication for it. Uh, his UCL is really good, you know, in the MRI he took. So that, that makes us feel good. Um, I, I just think he's, he's, he's going to continue to fight with a little bit of inflammation from here and there uh, along the way. And I think we just have to be, you know, careful with him. Yes. Well, again, you know, we, we worry so much about us um, and not other people. Um, I just think, you know, um, I've always looked at any team we play, Northwestern, Tulane, any of it. The other team in the other dugout is, is just a test. Uh, but you, you're really playing against the game. Um, the other team or your opponent will, will test you. The more they put the ball in play, then the more – they put pressure on your defense. Um, the better their pitchers throw, then the more pressure they put on your pitching staff to counter that. So, so it, it, it's always for me the way I've always coached in my thirty-something years is I, I believe the other team that we play. You could bring in the Yankees. Um, you know that's a different test, but but you're still playing against yourself. You know, will you play scared? Uh, will you let the moment be too big because of who you play in? Um, so I think all those things you have to just deal with. And, and we're coming off a, a Tuesday game, a Wednesday game. You don't know how you're going to be feeling. We weren't feeling good after the UNO game. You know, I can tell you that. And then we were able to get into a long extended game late into the night on, on Wednesday. And then they had turnaround time to be back the next morning at 8 o'clock to hit the road to Little Rock. So um, that Friday night game was a trap for us, and it, and it caught us. Um, then Saturday, I think they got their legs back underneath them and Sunday, and then you bust all the way back. You don't get to practice. Then you got Tuesday at a road game Wednesday. So I think those are the things that App State present to us is just a five game week. We're just trying to catch our breath. And, um, so we'll have to have a good practice on Thursday and be able to let whatever happens Tuesday and Wednesday go. If you, if you win good. But those wins don't do anything for you on the weekend. They might make you feel better, but I don't think you can get caught up in the past in this business. You know, as I told them before we get off the bus on Friday, after Friday night's game, you know, we, we, this team needs to just learn that, you know, win or lose, when you get off the bus, you got to start worrying about tomorrow anyway. And just so happened tonight we had lost. But either way, you got to let something go and get back on 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 your process. And I was glad they were able to do that Saturday after a loss on Friday and then get after it again on Sunday. So, 
So we'll see. I, I just think it's us. I think we have to solve us, continue to work. We're battling through some injuries and shuffling some people around and stuff. And we'll just, you know, see how a couple guys are going into this week and hopefully manage this five-game week to, to be ready to go into the weekend as healthy as we can.